You're listening to episode number 129 of the Transform Your Life from the Inside Out podcast. This episode is actually a bonus episode, and the reason why is that I'm currently doing a live training called the Be Do Have series. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a glimpse of what the training is, and I wanted to give you this bonus episode. Basically, you've heard me talk a lot in this podcast about you have to be before you can do before you can have. Well, this three-part series, um, it's no charge, and it's completely about digging into the be do have concept even deeper. So today's episode is a sneak peek and a general recap of the first module of the be do have series. So give it a listen, take notes, apply, and enjoy. So obviously you're here on the transform your life from the inside out um, training paradigm shift. And what we want to start doing here, what you're going to start doing is you're going to start transforming your core level thinking because see, it's not your analytical thinking. I want more money. I want to go to the gym. I want a better life. I want a wife. I want a husband. I want all these things that's all left brain analytical. And then we find that, you know what, we don't have those things. Why? Because we're not that at a subconscious level. By the way, as I was going to mention a couple of minutes ago, is that there are a lot of you that are here that are new to me. And what I want to point out, and a lot here that have been around for a while, what I want to just share right up front is I am very direct. I've done this for 25 years, um, and I'll talk more about me in just a bit, just so you know who you're learning from. I've worked the biggest stages with the biggest names, blah, 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 et cetera. This is not for me anymore. But the reality is, is that I'm, and the truth is I'm very direct. I know what works. I've coached royalty. I've coached movie stars. I've coached uh, uh, CEOs of billion dollar companies. I know how to get every one of you from exactly where you are to where you want to go. And I'm just very direct doing it because many of you get into your crap, not knowing that you're getting into your crap. And I have pretty much been where every one of you have been. So it's, I definitely know where you're coming from. So in our time together, we're going to start transforming your core level thinking. So plain and simple, this training is about one thing. It's about business transformation because probably about 80% of you are business people, online entrepreneurs, you own brick and mortar business. And probably 30% of you are only here for the personal transformation. And that means, according to statistics, right now in the U.S., 80% of you are overweight. So we're going to look at how you transform your personal life, how you apply this, you know, apply all of this to business. And I saw somebody in the group say, well, is this about business or personal life? Well, everything comes from you from the inside out. So it's about every single thing in your life. Bottom of the screen, it says you have learned to live your life backwards. And you'll discover that in our time together. Most of you, and I'm asking you guys also, just keep an open mind. Uh, What we humans love to do is love to resist and say, well, no, that's not me. Doesn't apply to me when it applies to you. But we never look at it that way. So, and I've been there before, okay? I'm telling you, if you don't know how to restructure your brain-based habits, you don't know how to reprogram your subconscious mind, you don't understand ways of beings, you don't understand your blind spots, then guess what? You're working backwards, but mom and dad never told us that because our mom and dad's mom and dad's were were children of the depression era here in the United States. And that was survival mentality. So our grandparents passed survival mentality to some degree or whatever degree to our parents, and they passed it to us. So you're living backwards. Let me put it this way. If you're not creating what you want in life, you are living backwards backwards. And in our time together, we're going to take and flip you around frontwards. Okay. Now, plain and simple as this, this is going to be a big aha for a lot of you guys is you keep not getting what you want in life because you're working from, which is the name of my podcast. You're working from the outside in instead of the inside out. And the challenge here is this, is many of you keep trying to do something to get the end result you want in life. And then you wonder, why am I not getting the end result that I want? You want to do something as opposed to literally transforming your your subconscious thinking, your brain-based habits, and your identity, which we will will be talking about today. 
Now, before I get to the graph over there on the left, let's look at it this way. How many of you have said, I need to lose weight? I don't fit into my skinny jeans anymore, and I'm, I'm getting married in three months, and I, I want my wedding dress to fit. Or I'm going on vacation, and I want to look good in that bikini. Or I just want, I just want to look good again or feel good again. So then what you do is you, you, you go there with that, and you're like, I want to change my life. And then you say, okay, on Saturday, I'm going to eat everything that I want to eat. Then on Sunday, you clean out the refrigerator, the freezer, the cupboards. And then on Monday, you're like, mm, I'm, I'm creating a new me. I'm creating a better life. I'm going to be thin before you know it. I'm doing really good today on Monday. And then on Tuesday, you're like, yeah, I'm doing good today. And then on Wednesday, you say, you know what? I've been doing really well the past two days. I can have one nacho at lunch today because my friend Jill is going to have nachos and I can have one, one of her little just pieces of the nacho. And then Thursday, you're kind of like, eh, that nacho sure was good yesterday. And then by Friday, what you're doing is you're saying, I have been good all week long and I'm going to reward myself. And then what you do is you have that cheeseburger or pizza or whatever. And then where are you next Monday? You're back to your old behaviors. Same thing with the gym. Same, uh, and, you know, I want to go to the gym. So I'm going to go to the gym to get in shape. Or let's say you're in business and you have to prospect or lead generate or do something at work. Yes, I'm going to do X, Y, Z to increase my sales. And I'm going to be gung-ho, everything like, like I just talked about. And what you're doing is you're, you're focusing on what you do as opposed to who you're being and your identity. Now, look over on the left-hand side of your screen. This is called a logical level. It was created by a social psychologist named Gregory Bateson back in the 50s. And his postulate, which I've seen accurate over the years, is that we human beings are like an onion. We work from the inside out. But yet what many of us do is we work from the outside in, meaning we go work in the world and things around us we go do. And then guess what? Very quickly, we're right back to our old behavior again. Now notice on the image here, I have the word behavior in an oval. And then below that, let me, let me do this. We have the environment, meaning our physical body and the world around us. Then we have our behavior. And many of us try to use our behavior to change our environment. More money, better health, better relationships, whatever it is. And then we look at, well, okay, well, here's what people don't look at. Okay, I want to change my environment to get healthy or to grow my business. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do things to make it happen. But what no one ever does is sits down and says, well, okay, Alrighty, what skills would I need? What beliefs would I need to precede all of that? What identity would I need to precede that? And then source, meaning just the source energy coming through you, which I'm not going to go into source today, but let me give you, give you an example. Let's go to, let's say you want to go to the gym and you're like all gung-ho. I want to go to the gym. This is why 92% of New Year's resolutions are already out the window by the third week of January. People are trying to do something to change their behavior, but take the metaphor of the gym and apply it to your entire life, okay? Now, I wanna to go to the gym, so I'm gonna change my behavior, but what no one ever looks like or looks at is what is the identity of a person that is healthy and trim and fit? And then identity, what characteristics, uh, characteristics would I need to be consistent in the gym? Would I need discipline? What kind of attitude would I need? What do I believe about working out? What do I believe about health and wellness? Do you notice all the mental work precedes the doing, which is the behavior? So then what happens is we're like gung-ho, we're gonna go work out. And we're going every day for the first three days, five days, six days, whatever, and then we go back to the old behavior. Why? Because if you're not a person who can stay committed to something, whether it be the gym, your diet, whatever it is, and this is all brain-based, which we'll get into um, uh, next module. If you're not a person who can stay committed to something, which is a characteristic and way of being, which is your identity, then how do you expect to follow through on the behavior? Notice, this is the huge trap for everyone. This is why rah-rah motivation doesn't work. This is why the YouTube videos are going to some seminar and you're jumping around for a couple of days, paying a lot of money to do that. And you're like, woohoo, I'm all fired up. And you go home and then you're like three days later, you're like, ah, where'd my motivation go? I mean, when I left the San Diego event, I was really motivated. And look at me now, I'm back to my old patterns again. The reason why is you're working backwards. You're working from the outside in as opposed to the inside out. Okay, 
So what many of you are doing, and I have been here before, I've seen it in myself for many, many years, decades, and I see it in you guys. Many of you are working from what I call the have, do, be model. If I have more or had more, then I could do more and I could be more. Meaning if, let's say you're an online business entrepreneur and you said, you know, if I had more money, I could hire some help. If I had more money, I could hire some help. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have the money. So well, hang on, we say if, if I have or had more money, I could hire someone and then I could be successful, have, do, be. But because I don't have the money currently, I'm not gonna do it, but then no one ever recognizes they're not going to be successful in the way that they want to be. Anytime you say, I don't have enough money, enough time, or enough energy, you're working a broken strategy and you will continue to repeat that strategy whether or not you believe me or not, and most of you will actually cognitive dissonance, you'll say, well, yeah, I kind of get it, or I don't believe it, or that's not me, or somebody's gonna come along, shazam, with a magic wand, and things are magically gonna change for me. I've been there before. It's a broken strategy, meaning a strategy is a mental sequence of steps. It does not work. Where you must learn to work from in our time together, and I will immerse you guys in this, is be to have. Who do I have to be? to do what I need to do, want to do, or choose to do to have the outcome that I want, meaning the money. So where most of us have an automatic disconnect is I want to hire a social media expert. I want to hire a branding person. I want to hire a VA, giving you this as an example in online marketing. But I don't have the money. So then what happens as a result of not having the money, I don't do it, therefore just a holding pattern. I just stay in my ruts over year after year after year because you're working a broken strategy. And then most of us never stop and say, whoa, I'm working a broken strategy, it doesn't work. What we always have to look at, which we will dig into, is who do I have to be? What ways must I be to do what I need to do, want to do, or choose to do to have the wealth that I want to have. Unless you're working from there, I give you my word, I give you my word, I've done this for a lot of years. I was kind of reticent to use a, a universal qualifier, but I give you my word. I look at me and I look at impacting the massive amounts of people I've impacted over the years. If you continue to work from have to be, at least have the courage to admit you're working from there and then own that nothing will change in your life because I guarantee nothing will change in your life. When you're working from, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough energy, I don't have, have enough money, well, congratulations, go look in the mirror because your life will repeat itself, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. Um, as I said, I make no apologies for this, I am direct. I'm kind about it, I'm, I'm nice about it, but I'm just telling you facts. So take it however you wish. All right, the fallacy of thinking. Many of you, and it's the rah rah motivational speakers, and you got to change your mindset, blah, 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 blah. Crap doesn't work. All right. And, and I'll explain why in our time together. You can't think your way to having more in life. You can't. Because everyone, every one of you right here, right now, you want to create more. You want more, don't you? But you think about it, but how come you're not getting it? How come you're not having it? So you cannot think your way to higher performance. You can wish and hope and dream, but that's all left brain uh, prefrontal cortex because all of your habits and your behavior come from a different part of the brain called the reptilian part of the brain and your subconscious mind. And both of those, those um, mechanisms work on autopilot. It's brain-based. They work on autopilot. So no matter how much you get into thinking, I can have more. And I heard this motivational speaker and she said, you can have it all and just be this and do this and blah, 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 blah. It's not going to happen. Even when I said be a little earlier, unless you become something different, doesn't matter what you think you want to be. Okay, here's why. The illusion of subconscious context versus thinking. Now, I don't have any books right here in front of me. This is a classic book called Think and Grow Rich. I'd sold out on the 20 million copies or whatever it says on the cover there, if it even does anymore. But the and I read this 25 years ago when I was waiting tables and I didn't become a millionaire until probably five years ago or so. I'm 55 now, so that's 25 years from reading this book to becoming a millionaire. Now, the reason that I tell you that is we think we can read something all day long and listen, even to, to me here, 
or go to the big tall guy or someone else or someone else. And we listen analytically. That's all content. Okay. Reading a book is content, meaning it's the content and the nouns and the verbs in that book. Now think and grow rich. If you're poor, the content is not consistent with the context. Your context, which I will show you, is the frame that you have. Imagine a box on your head. The context is the frame with, uh, with uh, I don't want to say this, the frame which you live in. But none of us ever say, hmm, I'm living from a context today. And my context for many years was, oh, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. I grew up poor. We don't have any money. Don't have any money. Don't have any money. Don't have any money. I don't value myself enough. Well, people pay for this. So my context, which basically, let me put it this way. Your context is your frame of, uh, and it's not entirely this, but this will give it, this will give you concretization. Your context is your frame of subconscious beliefs. Let that soak in. Your context is your frame of subconscious beliefs. Now, if you go look at your bank account and you don't have any money and you're broke, then what are your subconscious beliefs about money? Think about that. Your subconscious beliefs about money is that you're a broke person. Why? Because your external world will always reflect your internal world. Your external world is always your internal world objectified. Now, follow me with this example. You get online and go to your Wells Fargo account or wherever, and you're typing it in, and it says you're overdrawn by $35. And then you go into, well, geez, oh, I'm so broke. I don't have any money. Um, I live paycheck to paycheck. Money keeps um, flowing through my hands, money in, money out. I can never get ahead. Well, that's why you're broke in the bank. And then look what happens is you pick up the book, and you're trying to put content from the book into a broken paradigm which the paradigm is like a sieve that just has water running through it. So anything you read in the book, you put, try to put into your paradigms. And it just, again, like the sieve, the content in the book runs out because it's not consistent with your context. This is why like 95% of people fail in personal development. This is why 95% of people change because they're trying to change with content, which does not work you must change the context. More on that as we go here. Context is unconscious. It's your thought paradigms and beliefs below your level of conscious awareness. And that comes down to your age, your health, your wealth, your success in life. All the things that you guys want. Let me give you an example. If you were to go to Barnes and Noble and you go to the diet section, how many books are you gonna find about diets? What? 200? This, this is just a Barnes and Noble. 200, 300, 400, 500? Well, notice here, there's a bazillion books on diet. All you need is one, but you can't get the content from the book into your context because at some level you might have grown up, which we'll get to in a minute, you might have grown up hearing everybody in our family is overweight. And if you accept that as a child and you actually have an unconscious belief that everyone in our family is overweight or poor or unhealthy or we die of cancer at 55 or whatever, that is your context and everything in the world will bounce off from that. Why? Because that's what you hold subconsciously in your identity and in your brain-based habits. Let me give you an example here. This is John Paul DeJory. He started a company called uh, Paul Mitchell hair care products many years ago. Now his context many years ago used to be I'm broke, I'm poor and true story homeless. So because that was his context, he was homeless. When he changed his context, now he works from the content that he has now is, is well, this is what, let me back up here. Most people work from their context as I'm broke and the content like I think and grow rich is I want more money in my life. John Paul DeJory, where his context used to be is I'm broke and I'm homeless. His context now, his ex external world changed because his internal world changed now I believe he's right near the billion dollar mark, maybe a little over from homeless to billionaire, um, starting Paul Mitchell hair care products. What changed? Did the world change? Did people shampooing their hair change? Did people taking a shower change? Did the, the shampoo market change? No, nothing in the world around him changed. He changed on the inside and his world around him automatically changed. 
And for you to get change in your life, it's not about changing on the outside or doing things, which we'll talk about uh, a great deal in our time together. It's about who do you think he's being? What do you think his identity is now that he's a billionaire versus his identity when he was homeless? Okay, so there you have a recap of part one of the Be Do Have series. Now, you can actually, you can watch the training all the way up until September the 17th, 2020. So simply what you want to do is go to the show notes, click the link, which will actually take you to my Facebook group where I did the training live and you can watch the video there. Okay, click the link, head on over to the group and I'll catch you in the Be Do Have community. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye-bye.